What's going on everybody? Tim from Tierphone Orbital in the new shop. It's not a brick wall, but it'll do for now, right? Uh, anyhow, so this is going to be a very, very quick demo video for a Subversion install. I don't have a chassis for this Hilt, obviously. So we're not gonna go into Fusion or do any of that craziness. We are gonna talk about the Hilt a little bit. This is a very unique, uniquely etched Hilt. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about the install a little bit, although it's pretty straightforward. And of course, we will put a blade in it and do a quick demo. So this hilt was sent to me directly from TJ Wells from Ignition Saber Company. Uh, the client purchased it from him, I believe, and he, TJ, did an etch on this hilt. Or it was already etched and the client purchased from him direct. Either way, right, this, I've said this before about the Subversion. It's such a fantastically machined hilt, super unique crystal reveal hilt, but it is ripe for etching. I mean, it's ripe for any a lot of body modifications. And I've seen, you know, some Sabersmiths and some people do some really interesting stuff with the Subversion. But with the shrouds that are on this thing, I mean, it's perfect for etching. It's perfect to put wrap, you know, wraps on. Benji from Nerf Herder does a wood veneer on, on them and I, that I've seen that looks fantastic. So it's just a really, really unique hilt. So this was etched by TJ and this etch I really appreciate. So we've seen different etches before. I've seen, you know, floral flourish pattern etching, uh, but it's the geometrical, uh, you know, uh, straight line, you know, interesting kind of etch that I I appreciate, right? So this is the the bottom shroud or the grip. Uh, it's just it, to call it simple would sound like I'm doing it a disservice, but I love simple, subtle etching like that. Uh, I think it looks really really good. So anyhow, so the hilt came to me already etched and weathered. So all I had to do was the install. Another thing about the Subversion to me, uh, it's a very, very straightforward install. I mean, you do have to be careful when you're getting your conductors up past the brass crystal chamber module, but if you've got all of your wire management right uh, and you're saving space, it's, it's just a really, really nice hilt to install on, okay? With this particular install, the client specifically requested to have a Noah Drew marble in it. Noah, to, from what I understand, does not typically do marbles that are this small. Uh, but I think he made a, a special uh, exception for this client and Noah Drew did do a really, 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 really cool looking uh, nine millimeter marble uh, and it, it looks really really cool. So it's clear. It's got some swirly patterns in it So really really unique marble. So there are, there's a marble in the crystal chamber and that's it, right? Pretty straightforward install. We've got a PCB emitter from CC Sabres 28 millimeter uh, speaker from Smuggler's Outpost Just a great hilt, right? So without further ado, let's come up top and we'll talk about how to use the hilt really quick All right so here we are. This is the Subversion from Ignition Saber Company. This has been etched by TJ Wells himself. And again, I really, really appreciate this etch. So I've already taken off the grip from this for the demo. So to put your battery in, obviously you wanna take your grip off. Spring side is your negative. Put the battery down in the tray. So you're, you're gonna know that if the hilt is on when you hear an audible cue and then that, that marble will also light. So I don't know if you can see this, on camera, uh, but there's a really, really unique marble in here. Uh, I, I really, really like this marble. So anyhow, that's it, right? So you get your battery in, slide your grip back on, line your holes up. I'm only going to put one screw in for now for the demo. You get your set screw, tighten your grip on, and then you wanna put your pommel cap on and you're ready to go. So this is, I mean, I just really, really like, really like this etch. Really nice. Let's come down to the bottom. 
There's that marble. Let's see what else we've got on here. So the client did request a few fonts, so I was able to, to the client, I was able to get those in here for you. Some of those fonts did come with blade styles, like the, the grayscale ones did come with some blade styles, so I did put those, I program those in as well. The marble has different animations for each, hip, for each font, so this has like a cooldown animation. Really, really nice hit. I think it all right so let's put a blade in it and do a quick demo okay here it is I listen I might need to take this ceiling fan down uh, I whacked this ceiling fan twice now uh, dur during the past two videos so um, it's, it's literally right right here and because I'm standing I mean I'm not not used to having such a a, a regular regular height ceiling okay so this is a one inch blade. You wanna get your blade rested on those PCB pins. So there are two set screws here. Uh, typically, from what I recall, right, in the subversions, this upper screw is usually a little bit shorter so that it doesn't um, tighten into the blade, I, I believe. Uh, this particular subversion shipped with all the same size screws, which is fine. Right, but that, that just means you've got two set screws for your blade. So there's one here, and there's one here in this slot, right? So you get your blade in, tighten it. Let me make sure the grip's tight. And you're ready to go. <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> watch out for that fan. That was, that was my desk. So the majority of these fonts have also been set up with color wheel. To access your color wheel, you want to hold down aux and tap main. And when you find a color you like, hit main again, and it'll lock that color in. Man, this seems loud. One more. All right, that's enough before I break the ceiling fan. Anyhow, so that's it. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick demo for the client. This is actually the first install that I finished in the new place. So to the client, you have officially christened my workbench with your hilt. <laughs> so on that note, thank you to the client very much for trusting me with your hilt. To the viewers, everybody, thank you so much for your support and for watching. If anyone has any questions, please don't be a stranger. Feel free to reach out to me. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Have a good one, everybody.